Welcome back to Sport and 7 from the Mubadala World Tennis Championships. International golf once again returned to the Majlis Golf Course in December with some of the best international female golfers teeing off to conclude the 2016 season of the Ladies European Tour. Though the order of merit had been decided prior to the tournament, it didn't stop China Shinchan Feng to showcase her brilliance once again. Shen Chan Feng's special relationship with the Majlis course was yet again evident during this year's Ladies Masters, as her late surge in the final round earned her a hat-trick of wins out here in Dubai. The top Chinese golfer has made her presence known in Dubai last year, where she registered a course record 12-shot victory, and similar scenes were witnessed this year thanks to the windy conditions where she ended her final round with a bogey-free 64 to finish off 10 under. Feng didn't have the brightest of all starts to the Dubai Ladies Masters, as she was five strokes behind the overnight leader going into the final round. Luck was certainly on her side, with the wind supporting her late surge to clinch her fourth Dubai title in five years. I'm really happy that, you know, I, um, I uh, actually brought on my A game today. Um, I knew that it was going to be windy today and I knew that, you know, playing in the wind is one of my strongest part. So um, even though I was five behind, but, you know, in the morning, I always thought that maybe I would still have a chance to win um, this week. And um, I tried my best and eight under was a pretty good score. I mean, yesterday as well, with the, with the deficit as well, you said that windy conditions will support you because you looked at the forecast. What is it about the windy conditions that really you know, help your game and lift it up very much? Well, I think, um, you know, if it's uh, there's strong wind, I mean, um, the quality of, of shots are pretty, really important. And um, I think that's what I'm pretty good at. My ball striking is um, most of the times are pretty solid and I can control the trajectory, um, you know, in the wind. So I still leave myself birdie chances, even though it's really windy. But I know that um, it will, you know, actually bother a lot of the other girls. So maybe um, the other girls are not going to shoot like really low scores. You mentioned you'd really like coming back to Dubai, so how is the feeling today with the crowd support that you got today as well? Well, of course, um, I'm so excited today because um, I didn't play super well the first two days and um, I w my putting was kind of lost and um, I'm really happy that you know I was uh, able to putt well today and make a lot of birdies to make the crowds excited because uh, we had the most crowds today um, and I'm re just really happy that, you know, I brought out my A game in front of all the, all the, uh, the crowds. Not my best, but um, I think I was just a bit tired. I've been playing full on for a couple months now. So yeah, I, I wish I could have done better, but I guess today like, just wasn't really my day. Looking back, I'm so pleased because um, this is something that I wasn't ever sure I could achieve. Um, and everything just sort of went nicely. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy. I guess, yeah, I, I, I had expectations, obviously, because I've been playing well all year. And I had a decent round in the first round, but then yesterday, something just wasn't right. And then today, I thought the conditions were really tough. Like, that score that Shen Shen shot is phenomenal, and Charlie as well. So, um, yeah, I, I, I guess yesterday was really my downfall, and maybe it was just a bit of, like, I was tired mentally. Maybe that was part of it. I don't, I don't know, but I wish it was different. <laughs> Dubai has been a great destination for English golf this year, with Danny Willett and Matthew Fitzpatrick both grabbing the winning trophies. Charlie Hurl, too, seemed to be a strong contender to lift the Dubai crown, thanks to a late surge in the final round, firing a 65 to only finish two strokes behind Feng at 8-under. The CME Group Tour Championship winner is one of the young stars to fetch the limelight in English golf and had a disappointing start to the ladies' masters. After a finish, Hull said she had to slap herself to up the game and initiate that late surge. I could have like been way better the first few days, um, but you know it's all a learning curve and just got to get in there and focus. Um, I'm only young, I, I, I struggle to focus sometimes, so um, I kind of woke up, my caddy said, hit you, slap your face halfway around yesterday, so I did and I kind of woke up a bit. I was three or four under on the back nine yesterday, so. Um, apart from that, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I was pretty excited for the last round. Um, I said to my caddy, if I shoot, you know, seven or 
eight under, I've got a good chance of it, and I went out there and shot seven under, so I was pretty pleased. And it was a windy day, and it's kind of suited me to go out there low, and I posted a good one, and I enjoy playing in the wind. It was very tricky, but a couple of players have fallen back, and I'm happy with my performance. I feel like I strike it pretty good, and my ball kind of like goes a bit more through the wind, so I don't have to allow for it as much. And I don't know, I just like the feel of playing in the wind, because I know a few people will be struggling, so I just enjoy it. But I've always enjoyed playing in windy conditions, um, and it's fun, but um, it was good. It was a memorable occasion for the rookie of the year, Aditi Ashok, who fired her third successive 70 to finish six under, which meant missing out on a hat-trick of European Tour event wins. After becoming the first Indian woman to represent the country in golf at the Rio Olympics, the 18-year-old from Bangalore won back-to-back -back titles at the Indian Open and Qatar Ladies Open. Aside from grabbing their headlines at home, Aditi found her name in the leaderboard among seasoned professionals, ending the season as runner-up with earnings of €206,664. Yes, it's been really good. Obviously, I've had two wins in my last two LET events and I had four top tens before that. So I was playing really well and I had a top five this week. So that's, you know, it's pretty good. I'm happy with my week here. Now coming back from India, well, a great win in India. Now, first time they played it over there as well. They're coming back to the second home of India, pretty much in the UAE. Were yeah. there any expectations for you to sort of excel out here as well? Yes, I actually won Qatar after winning India, so I knew that you know, I'm playing well right now and the conditions in the UAE are different, you know, it's hot and quite scoring. And I also played here two years back as an amateur, so I sort of knew the course, so I was hoping I could do really well and obviously I didn't do as well as I'd hoped, but I'm happy with my week. It was only three days, also I feel that was, you know, really different because I was doing well, but it sort of just ended really soon, the tournament, but it was still fine. And especially today, the wind was okay, but I think it was more the sandstorm that was, you know, there was a lot of sand going around, so that was tough, but it's been a good week. Well, that's it for the sporting action hosted here in the UAE. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you'd like to get in touch with us, you can tweet us at City7TV using the hashtag Sportum7, or you can write to us at sports at city7tv.com. From the entire team, it's goodbye for now.